welcome to another book versus movie. Of course, you'll know from the thumbnail that today I'm going to be talking about the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society, um, which when I mention this to people who haven't heard of the book um, and it being a film and having seen the film or mentioning reading the book, they're like, the what now? Um, but I think maybe because I'd heard about the book before and then obviously it got made into a film, um, the title doesn't seem that odd to me. It's great because in the film, right at the beginning of the film, there is a moment where the kind of like the title is completely explained <laughs> and it's a really funny scene in the film and it's a really great way to start off the film because I know a lot of people have been confused by the title. Um, so yes, book versus film. First things first, obviously that bit that I just told you about. Secondly, the most glaringly obvious difference between the book and the film is the way the story is told. The whole book is told through letters. Here's a couple of examples for you here. So we've got letters after letters after letters after letters okay so the whole book is in written in letter form now I love that that makes me race through a book quickly I like things written in diary form and in letter form and letter form means it's also from multiple points of view which I love as well if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I'm a fan of multiple narratives um, and obviously the film couldn't be told like that so for me I think this is one of those where the film is like vastly different from the book. Obviously it still centres around the same storyline, it's got the same characters, it's set in the same setting, it's um, got you know the, the same people in it, um, but the book feels much more kind of intimate than the film does. The film, you're sat there watching the story about these characters and their literary potato peel pie society the book you are seeing the intimate thoughts of these people writing these letters you are seeing the moment a first letter is written between two people and how that develops and how that affects the storyline as it goes on however um I did sometimes get a little bit confused with the letters I actually listened to this one on audio and kind of almost had to kind of give up a little bit because I was struggling to keep track of who was who when I listened to the audio. So thankfully I do have a physical copy as well. Um, but the film, you can see everybody on the screen so you can get used to who everybody is and what they look like. I think they did a really good job of casting the film. They used, you know, British actors and actresses um, apart from the obvious American character. Um, but I thought they did a really good job of casting the film because they they felt like the people who were in the book, they really did. So the characters aren't going to be vastly different, but it is going to be much easier to keep track of the characters in the film than in the book. Um, the book did not make me cry or laugh, really. The film made me both laugh and cry. Um, so this is one of those occasions where, I mean, this is just me putting it out there, I might prefer the film to the book. I think having kind of mulled it over, because I did see the film a little while ago, but I was waiting until I was back here with the book to shoot this video. I think I might prefer the film to the book. The thing that I really like about the film is the portrayal of um, Guernsey and how people kind of forget how Guernsey was affected during the war. I'm sure there are lots of people out there that, that don't forget, but I personally um, had kind of almost forgotten, not forgotten because I've been to Guernsey, but I'd forgotten just what an impact the war had on them and how they were left after the war and how it affected people and how it affected people's livelihoods. And the book does a really good job of reminding people, you know, 
that Guernsey was sort of torn apart by war and families were torn apart and businesses were completely ruined and lives were completely ruined. And I was really pleased that the film showed that as well. I was really pleased that they did a good job of that. And I think that's possibly why I almost prefer the film to the book because I think if it hadn't have done a good job of that, then I would have stuck with the book. But because the characters came to life a little bit more in my mind watching the film because I could see them there in front of me, I think I prefer the film over the book. But yeah, those are the main differences I found. And if you're a fan of the book, I think you will be a fan of the film as well. And if you are considering just doing the film, then I think you will still get a really good grasp of the storyline. But if you're like me and you are a fan of books, where you're written, you're reading letter after letter after letter, um, then I would recommend doing the book as well because, but the physical book, I wouldn't recommend the audiobook because it's hard to keep track of the characters. But yeah, that's my opinions on the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society book versus movie. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the book versus the film or if you've just seen one of the other what your thoughts are on either the book or the film because that would be interesting to hear somebody who's just seen one or read one or listened to one. If your opinion's the same as mine on the audiobook, I wouldn't recommend the audiobook I have to say. But anyway, I will be back with another video soon, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that that video lands straight in your subscription feed. Uh, and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.